Is gluten-free dentistry real? What scientists are saying about implant performance and two innovative products. Hi, I'm Allie Cook for the Dental News Network. Today is October 16th, 2013, and this is your Wednesday Watch. Here is today's dental news. A dental office in Boulder, Colorado is proudly practicing gluten-free dentistry. While that may seem like a joke, Dr. Jeffrey Patrician is serious about serving patients who suffer from celiac disease because his own brother is one of them. The doctor was surprised to find that gluten is found in many common dental products, such as toothpaste, flavored profi paste, topical anesthetic, and fluoride. Approximately 1% of Americans have celiac disease and an added 6% are gluten sensitive. The need for gluten-free dentistry is on the rise and other practices in the county have already made the switch. Scientists in Japan and China are working to improve performance of titanium implants for use in dentistry and other specialties. They observed that implants coated with a bioactive calcium phosphate gelatin composite improved integration. In addition, they enhanced the proliferation of stem cells and other different types of bone cells. The study was just published in the journal Science and Technology of Advanced Materials. Coming up, an FDA clear dental laser and a temporary crown and bridge material. Convergent Dental has introduced the first carbon dioxide dental laser cleared by the FDA to cut both hard and soft tissue. Called Salea, it is virtually silent, vibration-free, and can completely replace the need for drills in many dental procedures. Denmat presents Perfect Temp 10, a multifunctional acrylic composite temporary crown and bridge material. It is designed to help clinicians produce natural-looking temporaries that are strong and durable. Perfect Temp 10 has an auto-mix BPA-free formulation, and it is available at a practical price. For more information on today's products, see the technology section in the current issue of Dentistry Today. Thanks for checking out the Wednesday Watch. We'll see you next week with more from Dentistry Today and DNN.